Hey YouTube, how's everyone doing today? Um, I wanted to get on, I just got home from work and it's getting ready to storm. Um, computer's freezing. My computer's back up and running and I know that you guys mentioned before you liked the picture in my last video. Um, thank you for all the comments on that big outfit of the day video. That picture was on my sister's MacBook Pro so that's probably why it was a little bit clearer and better picture. It's obviously a newer computer, um, a little bit bigger than mine, and yeah, that's basically why. So my computer is about five years old. Um, I just use the webcam on my MacBook, and this is the picture I get. So sorry about that if it's not as clear as the other one, and sorry about, always sorry about the lighting, but um, it is kind of getting darker earlier, and it's really quite stormy out right now. So. I'm gonna do this outfit of the day because I just got home and I still have my work clothes on. The last outfit of the day, well, I did one last week with my work clothes and it actually got, when my hard, I lost my hard drive stuff, it got deleted, so I don't have that. Um, I don't think I have that, unless they were able to put that on the, it actually might be on my hard drive, my external hard drive, because I could save some pictures and files um, at the Apple store so maybe it is on there I'll look for it and if I did get that recovered or saved um, then I'll upload that just so just because um, it was another kind of like more um, what do I want to say just like a semi casual or dressy work attire like not real dressy but you'll see what I'm wearing so I wanted to show you this outfit because people did like the last one that I did like this the the more dressed up kind of work or office outfit. Um, I think maybe people can relate to that. I'll stop <laughs> rambling and just get to it. Um, on my face right now, it's not gonna be really a good day to do what's on my face, but I'm gonna do a tutorial on some neutral looks, and this is one of them that I've been doing. Um, basically, what's on my eyes is just a base, which today I used uh, number 13 for Makeup Forever, the pot, so that's what's on my eyes. And then Bobbi Brown Rose Gold Shadow on top, then my liner. And then on my face, I've been having just a whole bunch of issues. So um, I have the Vichy Derm Blend on my face today, which really got really oily or greasy. It made me just really shiny, so I don't know why. But I have that on my face just for a kind of calm foundation. I needed to cover some stuff. I'm having issues. So I have that with uh, Chanel Loose Powder. Um, Bahama Mama, is that the bomb bronzer? I have that bronzer on, some Dolce Vita by NARS on my cheeks, a Estee Lauder highlight, and then on my lips is my new favorite lip combo that maybe I'll do a video on that too. So it is uh, number two by Makeup Forever and then Kat Von D lipstick. So that will be maybe coming up. I think just like a neutral work face is gonna be coming up in a video and I have two versions of the eye that I really like. So I'll kind of just, I'll show you both. Um, all right, for my necklace and my jewelry, it's all the basic jewelry that I usually have on. So that's just all the same, except for my ring. Um, this ring got really tarnished from sulfur, the sulfur stuff I've been using on my face. So I need to clean it. So that was really tarnished. When I look down, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's almost black. So I have to clean that. Um, but that's all my usual jewelry. These are the cuffs from Lorraine. You guys know the current custom sells these David Smallcomb ones. I have two large silver, two large gold, and two small silver. So for people who ask, those are on the currentcustom.com. I just have my hair kind of pulled back in a clip today, a little bit teased up top. My roots are bad, but I don't can't get them done for about another week and a half. Um, me and Ro necklace. This is just the necklace that I usually show with the scene with the birds and the branches on it. And that's it for my necklace. I'll show you my shoes right now while I'm sitting down. I'll take one off. These shoes that I have on today are, I don't know if I showed these in an outfit of the day, um, but they're just bandolino and they are wedges. And I wear these a lot for work. I need to get a pair of just regular black ones like this with sort of some detail. And I like how they're a square toe like a rounded square toe um but I love these type of wedges for work so I need to find some more of them but I got them at TJ Maxx or Marshalls no I got these at Marshalls and they were really um inexpensive I want to say they were $30 $29.99 
So these are great. They're okay comfortable. They're not like the most comfortable. I end up getting kind of like my feet hurt by the end of the day, but they're not the most uncomfortable shoes in the world. So those are Bandolino. You can check your Marshalls. They actually might still have them. I didn't get them too, too long ago, maybe a few weeks ago. So they should have those possibly still in. And then my sweater is from Ann Taylor Loft. Um, I don't know, did I show this in an off of the day or the other color? I have two colors in this one. It is just really cute, uh, flowy sweater. This is kind of a silk material and then it's just a short cropped sweater. So I really like that. Underneath it is a great tank top that I found at Target a while ago and it's by Mossimo. And it is just like a silky tank top with like thicker sleeves and then the back is almost a bra strap. And I cannot find it, it's like spandexy. I went back this year to grab more cause I wish I just had a million of these and they don't have them. I bought it last year and I ended up not wearing it until this year for some reason. I just had it with the tags on it and I grabbed it the other day. So I wish I would have worn it sooner so I could have purchased more of them. I'm kind of sad that I didn't. But if you know any, I'll actually take this off so you can see it because maybe you guys know where I can get another tank top like this. Because um, I really, really, really like it. So here's the top of it. It's just kind of like a, not like a square, but not a circle entirely. It's just, um, I don't know how to describe it. And it's this like spandexy, real silky material. And then the back is like this. So the back's like a kind of a flat across. And I like how it's a lower. Sorry that you can see my bra a bit. But it's a just straight across, nice lower back with adjustable straps. So if you know anywhere that um, carries tank tops like this or sells tank tops, sort of shape like this or if you know anyone who does like the real nice slimming tight black spandexy tops that you can tuck into work black work pants or whatever then just leave me a message below and let me know or link it below I would love to find more similar to this so I just buttoned it up with leaving one undone up top and a few undone or a few undone up top and one undone up, undone on the bottom sorry you guys know after work I don't make good sense um, and then this belt, you guys have seen it before, it's just my studded black leather belt from Gap. And then these are cropped black dress, dress pants from Gap with little pockets right here. So I'll back up so you guys can see the whole outfit. My purse is back there. This is it. these pants from Gap, like I don't understand why, but they make, how can you see it? Like they make my butt look so big. Like look at my butt. I don't understand. <laughs> I get a little bit self-conscious when I'm wearing them. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's my off of the day. So it's what I wear to work, kind of a version of this every day, whether it's wide trouser black pants or, you know, these type of crop pants. And then I just kind of do a black silky tank top and alternate my sweater. So it's really simple. I don't have a whole lot of dressy work clothes, but I make it work with what I have with just a few pieces. So that's my outfit and everything. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.